Video vice. Video vice? Well, for a minute there, I thought you were real cops. Hey, you know how you tell a real cop? A real cop doesn't blow his cover. <laughs> the hell are you looking at? Not much. You look a lot better with a smile on your face and your hair down. Kids. <laughs>
Huh, hundred dollar bill. Nice touch. What you see and what you hear in this room is confidential. Strictly not for public release. This is what I want to talk to you about. This is what we're up against. The serial killer. We have no motive. Only method. We have no suspects. Only a few suspicions. And they are, Chief? The killer is probably a prostitute. She has sex with her victim and then she kills them. As to motive, it could be any number of reasons. The psych department has come up with several. So we have an unhappy hooker. Uh, oh, and she wears a red wig. It's stone cold dead after that. Okay, so what you're saying is... What, what I'm saying is that your team has done a good job. What you need is some help now, so we're going to get you that. Look, look, wait, we don't, we don't need any help. We're fine. Heather, Heather, send in Joe, if you would, please. Best man in homicide. Oh, oh Lord, this is... Oh, oh, my God. Oh, Lord, T.J. Hooker. You know each other? Well... I don't know what game you're playing, but you you better be able to work with one another. Oh, well, I don't want to work with these guys. They're a bunch of pups. Hey, Joe, we didn't ask for you. <laughs> hey, Chief, we can do this on our own, really. Yeah, I second that, Chief. He doesn't exactly think about what we're cool. Cool. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, we homeboys now. Do you watch your language, man? I don't like your language. I don't like you close it now, either. That's clever. What are you looking at? You. I'm staring at you. Woman is the worst mistake in the history of law enforcement. Well, look at that. He's not only rude, he's a caveman. <laughs> well, even a caveman knows a woman can't do a man's job. No. Come on. Yeah, right. Come on. <sighs> Ouch! What does that prove? Well, that's my point, honey. That's my point. Well, I'm glad we're all friends. <laughs> Cute little stunt you pulled in there, partner. Well, partner, you gotta lay down the ground rules and let them know who's in charge. They like that. Maybe it shouldn't be quite so hard. Well, maybe. It's one thing to videotape hookers, another thing to track down killers. You know that. These young Nimrods, they hesitate one second. The city of Vegas doesn't have to worry about paying my pension. They're fully aware, Joe. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Look at me. 20 years in grade, and you. <laughs> you partner up with me for a few years, and you just climb on up that ladder, chief. They don't always promote the best cops, Joe. They promote the best administrators. It's a dubious distinction at best. <laughs> dubious. <laughs> yeah, we had our days, didn't we? Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. Life goes on, though. Yeah, it does. Yes, sir, Chief. It's a front desk. She's on her way. Yes. Joe, I need you to adjust the camera on your buckle. Uh, on your buckle. That's it. That's it. That's, that's it. it. That's it. That's good. Just talk to the bell captain. Who is on the way? All right. Whew. Damn, girl, what were you doing in that bathroom? A second. All right, well, wait a minute. What am I doing? Come in. Hi. Hi, sweetie. Come on in. Hey. You're kind of young. How old are you? How old do you want me to be? Old enough, I guess. Can I use your bathroom? Sure. It's right there. Get ready, Jim. 
I, I said, uh, we're gonna have a real good time, baby. Well, you get what you paid for, sweetie. So, uh, what will it be? Around the world? Normal. A uh, traditionalist? I'm an old-fashioned girl myself. That'll be a hundred bucks. Is that negotiable? No. But it is in advance. Uh, here's a little extra. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. Shall we go? No, 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 no. Let, let him cook for a little while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. Uh-huh. Oh, 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 she must oh, have ran out of lotion. She looks angry. <laughs> you know, he looks a little angry, doesn't he? <laughs> Fun's over. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Okay. Oh, man. The biggest Spice, you are under arrest for plastic. Where the hell you guys been? I can't take another bus. Come on, Joe. Just what? Tell you guys to say. You know, figured you have a little time to ski the oh, yeah. Excuse me? No, excuse me. Take another bust. I don't give a rat's ass. What? Oh. They jumped out the window. Bitch ah. jumped out the window. <laughs> that is not the most professional display of police work I have ever seen. Actually, Chief, I think the sound and the camera work is like, you know, with, and the camera is like... Yeah, it was actually... Was real old. Yeah, it looked nice. You had a few problems. Oh, we had a few problems, all right, right here with these Girl Scouts. Another feminine reference. How hey. nice. All we did was let Joe sit in there and cook a little too long with the suspect. It's no big deal, Joe. You know, it's just like an initiation into the club. It's a bunch of crap. Damn, it was just a joke. It was just a joke. Damn. You think putting two people in the hospital, costing the city thousands of dollars of the property damage is funny? Well, it ain't funny. It ain't a joke. Look at me, punk. I'm talking to you. I ain't laughing. There's nobody laughing here. You know what? We don't need a babysitter, okay? And you're too loud. <laughs> Would you like some bread to go with all that wine? Chief, maybe you? somebody with a sense of humor hey, might be yeah. This is just ridiculous. Hey, 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 you got this no reason why we can't do this. jokes to your own men on your own time. Right. Just a joke. Well, that's in here. Turn on the air conditioning. Keep your appointments here. Oh. Oh, and Mike, your girlfriend called. Test results were negative. Could you please do me a favor? Can you just can you just put this stuff in my mailbox? Is I'm right? not your personal secretary. And oh, uh, the surf shop call from LA. The board is ready. Thank you. What is sex wax anyway? It's something that you're never gonna know about. Please just run away, please. Mm -hmm. Mumbar dog right at the top. Hey, Jake, watch out. Joe's getting serious. He's putting on the sideboards. It's illegal in most states, you know. Uh, putting on the sideboards. Uh, <laughs> oh, damn, freaking rookies. Hey, give it up, will you? Are you, Come on. are you still pissed off about that vice thing? Please. Hey, the chief likes the numbers. Pandering and, and prostitution are both down. In the vice video, vice. Vice got tears! My God, what the hell you know about the streets anyway, huh? You're still what pushing, do I know about the streets? Pushing the button on the computer. You and I have Barney invented the streets. Jake, you're going to have to get out of here. Yeah, I'm going to have to get out of here. Hey, what is it, something I don't know about? Hey, <laughs> come on, what is it? Hey, what do you know about the streets? Me and Joe, me and Joe are out on the streets, oh. right? <laughs> now, I've been on the job. But about a week, yeah. and and he's been on about a year, so that makes him him the veteran and makes me the rookie. That's right. Which means I got to do everything he says. So 
we bust this hustler down the strip. So, so he tells me, he tells me, I gotta pat her down, cause she might be back in a ride. Pat her down? Yeah, well, that's something we used to have to do. So, so I'm like, you know, I'm like kind of trying to, you know, it's time to feel this poor girl up. <laughs> Come on, will you? What happened? All right, all right, all right. So while I got my hands around the front, you know, I'm kind of like hesitating, you know, and he's going, come on, come on, come on, come on, you gotta do it, you gotta do it. Yeah, so? So I reach down her front, and <laughs> she's back in a rod, all right. I'm shaking hands with the biggest salami on the strip. <laughs> the son of a bitch has got me feeling up a transmitter. Oh, man, Jesus. And then, and then, and then, and then she says, she says, you can bust me any time. <laughs> 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 get the hell out of here, man. Hey, man, give me the keys. Go. I ain't got the keys. Give me the keys. You got the keys. No, no, no. Give me the keys. Yeah, here's the keys. There. Here, Bardo's got the keys. Come on. Let's go. Come on, big guy. I'd like to propose a toast to a big bus. Yes. Oh, I'm not drinking to that faster, uh-huh. Oh, no, 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 not that bus. I'm talking about the bus over there. Black. Oh, yeah. Take a Black. 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 I think that's racist, don't you? It's not racist. It's a joke. And you guys, Barney, they know about jokes. You know about jokes, don't you? Oh, God, I love you guys. I do. No, I do. I love you. I love the vice cateers, vice cateers, vice cateers. Love you too, Joe. I especially love you. I mean that. Joe, Joe, Joe. Joe, Joe, Joe. Joe, Joe, Joe. Excuse me. Joe, Joe, Joe. 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 Joe, Joe, Barney, we're gonna go hey, to a place I'll let you go next time. A little more mature right. atmosphere. Okay. okay. Love, you, love you too, bro. Washington, baby. I love you too, Joe. Go. You still have your bad habits, Fred. Yes, I'm still smoking, and I'm still having problems with my wife. Really? Well, I think we can take care of you this problems. Well, I sure hope so. Just like the others, Joe. Gunshot wound consistent with the gun. Same bullet markings? Mm-hmm. Size and depth of the wound matches the others. The bullet right between Alexander Hamilton's eyes. Anything further on the drug test? Ah, I did see something. Let me see. Well, toxicology shows indications of stress to the heart muscle, which could indicate cocaine use. 
cocaine and alcohol, all of the victims had higher than normal blood levels. Jordy, want some more coffee? Yeah, leave the whole pot. Right. Thanks, River. Right. Another one of these, please. You got to drink that this early in the morning. I'm on my way to look at a body that's been in a river for two weeks. I need encouragement. Okay, I see. <laughs> All right, so what she's saying is that she meets the victim in a the bar, they get high together, they get laid, and the jaw gets whacked. That's about it. Do you think possibly that this could be some kind of homosexual crime? Do you think our murder could be a man? Well, there have been similar cases, but... There's nothing here in these reports to indicate any anal penetration. Yeah. I did see something. Yeah. There's definitely been a woman's secretion on each of the victim's organs. Now, there's a chance we could run a DNA test and try and link your suspect to the murders, but it's a real long shot. The samples we got are very contaminated. So what you're basically saying is that our lady friend here straddles the victims. Nothing kinky, just good old-fashioned sex, and that's all, all there is to it. There's nothing to the contrary. Well, I, I don't get it then. I mean, uh, there's no evidence of robbery. Our hooker does her job. She gets paid. She takes the hundred that John gives her, uses it as target practice. All we have are a couple of red hairs connected to a wig. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Nothing makes sense. Haven't you ever watched The Freaks on Oprah and Donahue? Yeah, yeah. They're all suspects, right? You got it. I'll let you know if we get lucky. Yeah. Thanks, Tom. Well, Tom, whatever happened to that pussycat lounge case? That case was solved. These guys you're working with are good. Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. How many, how many cops does it take to screw in a light bulb? <laughs> Come on, it takes two. Okay, you got one to screw in the light bulb, and you get the other one with the donut. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, good. I got one. Wait. What do you do with an elephant that has three balls? <laughs> we we go up. You walk him and pitch to the rhino. Oh, God. That's <laughs> sucks. Oh, come on. I'll pitch to the rhino. That's one of the four home run balls of Mays hit in Milwaukee back in 61 and 62. It means a lot to me, and I want you to have it. I can't take this, Joe. You take it. Take it. You serious? Yeah. Cool, thanks. Look, guys, I uh, was way out of line last night. Are you saying you're sorry? Yeah. I'm sorry. Gee, nothing for me? Is this a black thing, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> Number four, Bugsy. I'm going to need your brain. Now, what we got here? Well, we got four dead Johns. You can all count, Mike. Any supplemental, Joe? Well, she pulled this guy out of a hotel bar. The bartender gave us a little bit better description of her, but he couldn't ID her from her book. She hooked them all in hotel bars. That's right. Well, maybe we're going about this thing the wrong way. Yeah, vice. Show us, Joe. Let me see that. The whole ones? Yeah. I said, yeah. I got a dinner date. Scary thought. <laughs> Very scary. <laughs>
Thanks, sweetheart. Hey, what you got there, champ? <laughs> I got my new ball, man. Let me see it. Check it out. It looks like the ball Willie Mays hit for his fourth home run against the Braves. What, 61, 62? Wait, wait a second, wait a second. Did you, you seen this before? See it? I got one at home, man. Everybody in Homicide has one. Get oh, out of here. Oh, okay. See, no, wait a second. You know, I told Dog you that. You know something? Juice. Joseph, yeah, but he, he doesn't even own a mitt, never played a ball game in his life, hey, right? let me okay. tell you something about Joe, man, all right? All right. Joe's idol was Willie Mays. Joe knew more about Mays than Mays knew about himself. And when Joe went up to spring training with the Giants when he was a rookie, he got to play against Mays in the spring training game. What? Yeah. And he had fanned Mays four times that day. Anyway, he gets Mays to a 3-2 count. And I mean, he just rears back with everything he has. And he grooves that ball right down the middle. He struck him out? No, man. Mays hit the ball at a ballpark. I mean, that ball. <laughs> That's flying still. They're still looking for that ball. You can put a stewardess on that ball. He hit it so far. <laughs> yeah. And you know what, though? The neat thing was, is when Mays was rounding the bag, he stops at third, he looks Joe right in the eyes, tips his cap as if to say, thanks, kid. I know you could have fanned me. So, what, I mean, what, later, what happened with Joe? Well, you know, Joe had a temper. Hello! <laughs> yeah, Joe's got a temper. Hey, you know what? Joe's a good man, and he's a good cop. Welcome to the big leagues, kid. Arizona Charlie's, best place in town. I'm the designated drinker tonight. So you still the uh, Ram man? I am the number one fan. You have my condolences. They never should have gotten rid of Dickerson. Oh, like it would have made a difference. So you staying clean? Sure, man. So what do you got for me? I got the friend, this girl, and uh, she's working the streets. She used to work for an agency, one of those part-time places. You know, the kind you call when you want a secretary. What's the name of the agency? Bon Temp. Anyway, you call them and they send you a hooker. It's like for high rollers only. It's a sleazy little joint, and uh, the broads make a lot of money. They're gorgeous, too, man. The only thing is, you work for them, they catch you using drugs, forget it. You're right back out in the street. And that's what happened to your friend. Yeah. Then she was telling me about these killings. Killings? You know, the guys that were getting bumped off by the prostitutes. Hey, man, we're not stupid out here, you know? Gone. All these guys were going to the same agency for their kicks. John, are you holding something from me? The thing about it is, they keep records on everything. Good. Come on, you guys. I've got an early day tomorrow. I have to be back here in hours. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you what, give, me, give us five minutes. Yes. What's the matter, no whores on the street tonight? We love you, babe. <laughs> dramatic. You know, we should have shown by now. We'll show. Whether we like it or not, <laughs> we'll show. You know something, Bugs? I don't, I don't, I don't get the man. He's a career cop, Mike. Well, come on, I mean, we're, we're, we're both career cops, too. I mean, it's a little scary, isn't it? I mean, he's a little rough around the edges, but he's not that bad. Yeah. What's up, guys? Hey, Joy, what's up? We got a hooker and gaming operation underground, and they keep some very interesting records that we got to move fast. So how fast are we talking? Well, we don't have time for proper channels, so we got to move right now. Piece of cake, we stake it out and we're busted. Let's do it. I'm telling you right now that Angie's not going to dig this. Let's go. Head order belly. Nice front. Tom 12, one five. Tom 12, go ahead. Don't you think we should have told Bronski about this? Yeah. Bugsy, you in place over there. Copy. You got that back door cover. Covered. 
got it. Showtime. Now y'all don't shoot till you see the whites of their thighs now. <laughs> It was a stupid thing to do. You're not authorized to issue an order for platoon backup. You're not authorized to coordinate a civilian business bus. This has to be authorized by me. You know that. Let's try to save time, Dan. Well, don't cut corners, Joe. No end runs. How's Robinson? He's doing fine. They kept him in the hospital overnight for routine observation. Damn insurance people. You can't cough sideways in this job without having to spend a night in the hospital. Come up with anything? We have the records and we spent all night going through them, but I haven't found anything to tie into our case yet. Can you get my ball back? Next time, I want to be informed. Good pitch. Three more to go. 
two more to go. Two more. This is it. Hello. Hey, Buck. Hey, Buck. Welcome back. Good day. Right. Uh, I feel fine. I can't say too much for that hospital food, though. <laughs> Slept like a baby. You guys look like zombies. Thank oh, you. Yeah. So Very much. <laughs> you have a chance to check out that car? Yeah, apparently the scumbag was just the driver. He would drive the cash from here to Los Angeles. He was just there to pick up the weekly proceeds. He found over 100000 in cash. One folder left. Oh, by the way, they broke the LA affiliate on that Pleasure Palace thing. That's great. Look, look, uh, let's get this thing sorted out over here. Turn it over to the feds. Uh, ask LA to fax us whatever documents or photos that they have. Already done. Remind me to put a gold star in your time card. Why don't you just give me Willie Mae's fourth homer? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hello. What do you got there? Hey, we got one. And that's all we've got. Look, um, I can't make any more sense about all this stuff tonight, so can we pack it in? Well, I'll tell you what, when we wrap this up, it's midnight now with we'll me back here at 8 a.m. Okay, look, my car's in the shop. I need a ride. I'll take you. Thank you. Joe, I'm going to stay and put all this stuff on database. I slept enough at the hospital. Yeah. Good. What the hell's wrong with you guys? It's good to have you back, Bucks. Thank you, partner. I think. Do you want me to stay and give me a hand? No, nah, you go ahead. You look like tired. Get some sleep. <sighs> anyway, that's how the whole gang got started. <laughs> So now I know why you're the guys that want to bring you out here. You live out in Iowa. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. They told me you had quite a baseball career. Yeah. What do you hear about my baseball career? <laughs> that you were really good. Uh, evidently not good enough. I had the ability. I just couldn't play the mental game, the pressure. When it came down to the big pitch, I just couldn't get it across. But they told me. Yeah. Full of crap. Willie Mays story, right? Yeah. Yeah. They think I served up the last pitch to May so he could hit it. They think I didn't want to embarrass my hero. They're wrong. Nobody ever struck out Mays before. I, I wanted this more than anything in my life. So I had an opportunity, but I blew it. Couldn't make the big pitch. <laughs> well, that's my story. What's yours? I was married once. You seem like the type that would stay married. I would have liked him. He was a lot older than me. A Vietnam veteran. It just got harder and harder for him to adjust. Um, he couldn't get in sync with the real world. You know, he'd get a job and lose it. Then he got into a syndrome started abusing drugs, abusing me. He hurt you. Yeah. He hurt himself more than he hurt me. He killed himself. Now that I made you drive 50 miles out here, do you want to come up for a drink or something? Yeah, I'd love to. Clean up in the air behind the counter at the donut shop.
Get out. <laughs> Kick me out. Okay. <laughs> I never kissed a cop. You only know, haven't kissed a caveman in a while. All right, see if you can get a cross-reference on that. Thanks a lot. Uh, well, gee, woo! Yeah! Hey, uh, donuts fresh, coffee uh -huh. fresh. Help Morning. yourself. Morning. Wow! Mm. Hey there, Desert yeah. Dogs. Hi. God, we came together. Well, let's not jump to any conclusions. Any cross-references, Bugs? Okay, let's check it out here. There we go. Go. How do they match up? All right, let's see here. There we go. Yeah, print that right there, right there. They're all redheads. They all appear to be redheads. You know what? Right. There's something about this one. Here. What? You remind you of one of your little beach bunnies? All right, all right, knock it off. Come on, I'll do some cop work. Tony Lazari, look at this, man. I can't believe this guy's still a free man. He's got to be involved in this somehow. Yeah, he's in every folder we pull. You know, it's not like I got the greatest look at this girl. I never forget her pretty face. <laughs> well, to tell you, some people prefer girls. Oh, she have another look. I don't know. I, I can't tell for okay. sure. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah, you have a precious evening, huh? See you soon. Right now, we don't know if the relationship between the victims and the hookers means anything. You think one of them might be the killer? I don't know. That's all we got to go on right now. I checked one possible eyewitness, and he couldn't give me a positive ID on any of the photos. What do you have on the girls? Well, Sherry and Roslyn were still current employees of the agency at that time of the bust. Apparently, the third one here, Christine, she booted down a long time ago. I'll hang on to this one. Give it to the FBI. Uh, quick turnaround on a nationwide. Good, good. We checked the girls' most recent addresses, and they both skipped. We're holding three other girls and a secretary from the agency. So I figure if we uh, squeeze them a little bit, they may do a little singing. Hey, Dan, you got a cigarette? <clears throat> you got a light? These things are going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs>
all the working girls have had priors, minor stuff. But it's the first time down for Lily. She was a receptionist. Divorced, single parent. According to the neighbors, takes really good care of her kid. Oh, you check with the neighbors. Good cop work, right? Anyway, she even tried to get him into private school. St. Anthony's? Yeah. So what happened? Couldn't afford it. So the hookers make all the bread, and she's just a clerk on minimum wage. Yeah. She's really scared, Joe. I don't think she's going to talk. Well, I got an idea. Let me make a few calls before I talk to her. That's real good work. Father Allen, it's Joe. And where were you the other day? I reserved a court for us to play on. Hey, after that 20-point blowout you handed me last week, well, what do you think I am, some kind of masochist? You expect me to come back for a little more? Nah, listen to the big baby. What, I hurt your feelings? You got the height, I got the moves. Yeah, you didn't tell me your college roommate was Muggsy Bogues. It's slippery little guys like you that take advantage of big, slow guys like me. Okay. All right, we're on. Same place, same time. And hey, you better grease up those uh, sneakers of yours, Pee Wee, because I'm taking you to the hole this time. Okay, you're on. And I promise to cut down on my cursing, okay? All right. <laughs> oh, uh, I almost forgot why I called. Listen, Father, I'm going to... I'm going to need a big favor from you. It's about this lady and her son. I can't believe this is happening to me. Who will take care of my son? No, he's fine. He's okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you. You think maybe you could help us out on this? I don't know. Look, you got nothing to worry about. We've taken out the LA operation, too. Really? So, whoever or whatever is left over from the business, they're not going to be interested in what we want. So, you just take your time. What's this? It's a friend of mine over at St. Anthony's. He's uh, got a couple of scholarships available. Said he has one for your son if you want it. There's also a clerical position available. Doesn't pay much, but uh, they have free on-campus housing for staff. So if you think you might be interested. Thanks. What do you want to know? There he is, Tony Nazari. Your typical dangerous bona fide creep. Drugs, prostitution, guns, you name it. For some reason, he's tied into every operation in town. He specializes in high end hookers. And that's where our girls have gone. Now he's going big time. He's trying to take over everybody's operation. But before that happens, we're going to get him. Folks, he's going down, and he's going down hard. I want. I want you to stake him out. I want you on him like ugly on me. I'm Tom 12, go ahead. First one is uh, Walker. First one is Larry. Good one, Larry.
Okay, I'm moving right now, round back. Anything you say can, and you damn well better believe used against you in a court of law. You have the right for to ask a question, attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you before questioning. Do you understand these rights? Let me ask you a question, my friend. What is your name? Owens. Joe Owens. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> hey, we got you, Jasper. Okay. We got it, Jasper. Come here. What you got it, Mike? Mike, settle down. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. All right, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Got you. Girls, your blood test came back clean, so you're off the hook. I do need your help with one thing, though. Um, do you recognize her? Yes. Uh-huh. We all started with Tony. And Christine was mostly a loner, though. Sherry and I, we always hung out. But we could never get through to her. Mm, the three of us went to the palace at the same time. But she was just in it for the money. I mean, she never got into the drugs or the parties or anything. Did she do something wrong? Listen, do you know whether she's in town or not? I don't know. I remember she had only a few clients. And she dropped out of the business a couple of years ago. And we haven't seen her since. We were never friends. Last I heard, which was some time ago, she was supposedly seeing a cop. Thank you. Anyway, the strange thing was, she said the last rumor she heard was that Christine was dating a cop. Ooh, a cop, huh? <laughs> it was probably Mike. Hi, Mike. Hey. What do you need? I need the, uh, the 1990 photo album from the, the annual picnic thing. Oh, sure. Let me see if I can find it. Thank you. Here it is. 1990. First year on the job, if I recollect. What are you looking for? I'm just looking for something, okay?
girl said she had a few more clients. Can you pop up the names? You know who you're talking to? It's in here, I can bring it up. Now, who the hell's John Doe? Shit, I don't know. Bring back Douglas. Douglas, Douglas. Whoop, there it is. Douglas Harbaugh. Well, there's a number. Let's call. You ready? I want in. Hey, Pop. How are the waves out there? How are you doing, kid? I can't complain. How are you doing? Sound like all retired cops miserable. Don't ever retire. <laughs> of course, uh, working in Vegas compared to L.A. is like being retired, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you in trouble or something? No, no, no. Nothing like that. Um, I got a question to ask you. Now, what would you do if you suspected one of your fellow officers? One of the boys on the take? No, no, it's not one of the boys on the take. It's just, um... Actually, it's the captain. Brodsky? Yeah. And I think he might be involved in a murder. Jesus. Have you told him? No, I haven't told him. Don't. And make damn sure that you're right about this. And make damn sure that your ass is covered. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Mike, be careful on this one. Okay. You call me if you need me. All right. I'll talk to you later. Mike, be careful. All right. Douglas Harbaugh, please. Hi, Doug. It's Christine. I got your page. Tomorrow night, Maxim. 10 o'clock. That'll be fine. Is red still your favorite color? <laughs> really? No, I won't wear panties. I'll get a suite at the Maxim. Okay. Bye. I don't like it when you do that. Dan, it's my job, you know that. It's what I do. Morning, Joe. Morning, Heather. Boss in? No, he's not in. He uh, took a three-day leave of absence. He left yesterday. Three-day leave of absence? Is there an echo in here? What the hell's going on? Where is he? Joe, you're just not morning people, are you? How the heck should I know? He left it on personal business. He said he'd be back Monday. I don't like to pry like some people do. Did he get the information back on one of our suspects? He, uh, he called the FBI. He never called the FBI. He called the FBI. He never called the FBI. And if he had called the FBI, I would have known. I would have placed that call. Hey, don't take... You, you, you better not go in there. He's not going to like this.
Give it to the FBI. What the hell? What? God, I hope not. Let's go. Dan? But Mike! Mike! You see what? Oh, God, he's still breathing. Owen's homicide here. We got an officer down 10616 Andrews Place. 10616 Andrews Place. She's been here, Joe. But well, she's involved with Dan. What the hell's Mike doing here? Bronski's gotta be John Doe. Uh, this really stinks. Look, Doug Harbaugh. 10 p.m. Maxims. He's gotta be next. Call Bugs. Hang in there, Mike. Bugs? Doug said you'd be the most beautiful woman in the bar, and he ain't lying. You are Christine, aren't you? I'm Christine, and I'm flattered. Well, Doug got detained on business. You mind if I sit down? Yeah, please do. I get a beer, please? Really from my past. Lucky charm? Oh no. That's my lucky charm. <laughs> A baseball. Oh yeah. Oh, good pitch, Joe. You mag daddy you. <laughs> <laughs> so Doug's a busy man. And successful. And successful. Uh -huh. So tell me, Joe. Are you successful? Oh, yeah. Nice boots. How'd you like to take them off and have a good time? Well, when I have a good time, I like to keep my boots on. <laughs> All right, he's on his way to the elevator. Okay, he's on the elevator. Where you going, Joe? Where you going, baby? Where you going? Talk to me, Joe. Mm, a soft 17. Gets me in trouble every time. Soft 17. 17th floor, let's go. Come on, say it. Say it. Say it. Come on, we need a room number. <sighs> <laughs> so what room are you staying in? 
You need a hand in there? Medication. CFS. Oh, CFS. That's the uh, chronic fatigue syndrome, huh? Well, you don't look like you uh, are fatigued. No rest for the wicked. Use your phone. Make sure this backup on the stairwells and have them cut the power in the elevator. Backup. Do you read? I read you. We got backup coming up and a helicopter flying in. Operator, this is Officer Thompson. I need the names of everyone on the 17th floor now. Misty! Dan, what are you doing? Why are you here? First time in your life you ever figured something out. What the hell are you doing, Dan? Dan, what is going on here? What is this? This is your life, Christine. This is what you made me do. I'm cleaning up all your lovers. What are you talking about? What I've done for you. Let's take it easy, Dan. They're all dead, Christine. I killed them all. Dan, stop. Hey, Dan. You got a cigarette? Not alive? Things are gonna kill you. <laughs> this is Chopper 247 requesting city air clearance. Drop the gun, Dan. Dan, stop it! No hard feelings, Joe. No hard feelings, Dan. Officer Dow. <laughs> Drop it. Dan! Dan! Bugs. You all right? He's got an engine. Stick it in. <clears throat> we are approaching the Maxim Hotel. Corner. 
You're all dead. 